Hello guys and welcome to the sixth installment of the Iron Botting Iron Man Progress series. Uh, I'm streaming a lot of parts of this on Twitch as of late and I think this is my best progress video yet. There's a ton of achievements and I really enjoyed making this video. So I hope you guys enjoy watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. So this clue requires a headband and a cruiser, both of which we have, but we're not 60 prayer. But there is hope. We're seven construction levels off from building our altar. Let's just go do it. Get it the fuck out of the way so we can finish this close roll. And there it is, 77 crafting. We can now craft red dragon hide armor. And 1450 total. Cool. So I'm just doing some construction games right here. And um, you can see on the right hand side my XP per hour gains after like about 45 minutes of doing construction. And it's pretty good, I mean, I haven't really been focusing that hard, but it's still like 107k per hour, which is pretty crazy. Um, you can see I got three mil cap stack from doing air battle staffs, and yeah, it's going pretty good. Gotta get that 68 crafting, or 68 construction done, and I'll uh, start doing prayer. So yeah. So, about to hit 67 construction, and there it is. We can now make our gilded altar with the boosting. But just to make it easier to boost, I'm gonna use these last few oak logs and I'm gonna get 68 construction so it's easier to get the boost. So let's go do it. And there we go, 68 construction. Probably won't ever train construction again considering that there's no use for it, so. Here we are buying the stuff that we need for our gilded altar. Uh, four gold leaves. Then an extra gold leaf for the Mahogany Eagle Lectern. So, yeah, there we go. Guild it all there. And here goes nothing. Mahogany Eagle Lectern has been completed. Let's go make some house tabs. And here goes the Mahogany Burners. Completed. Just got the 72 construction boost first try. Here we go. Gilded altar, baby. Look at that thing. Holy shit. Took so long. Well, here we are. We just got done making 500 house tabs and getting 60 prayer. Now we're gonna go finish up that clue scroll and then we'll be back to doing prayer. So let's go do it. Not gonna lie, I really like this Kreuzer with this headband. I look like a fucking Greek god. Holy. So we're finishing up this clue scroll that we got 60 prayer for, let's see. Saradoman page 4. First ever Saradoman page on this account, I think. Um, but now at least we have one of every single page. Uh, we got Runkai Shield. Pretty good Aquables. So, as you can see, I just got 50 Herb Lore. Let's go use that lamp we've been saving since Recipe for Disaster. There it is. Here we go. On Herb Lore. There we go. Free 20k Herb Lore XP. 51 Herb and almost 52. Very nice. Oh, Derek play likes. Yeah. I already, I already had him. Oh. So here we are finishing up the Knight's Training Ground, get that 80k combat experience, 20k in all four of the melee combat stats, as well as hit points, um, and access to piety and uh, chivalry, so yeah, now we just gotta get 70 prey and we can use piety. I had to take a break from uh, using the bones on the altar though, because I ran out of marintoles, because I forgot that you needed two for each burner. Um, and I had only anticipated one per trip, and I don't know, I did my math wrong somewhere, and so yeah, I gotta go get more Marantols, gotta get about 30 or 40 more, and I'll be able to get 70 per. So we got 500 bones left to use, and uh, let's go do some Slayer. And so here we are about to finish this Banshee's task. I've gotten six Marantols towards my Marantol collection that I need for prayer, and it's some free uh, Slayer points. Also got 364 Puritans, so that's always good. Alright, let's go get a new task. Dagonauts, not bad. 
Oh shit, another bronze full hum G from the easy from Banshees. Pretty nice. I mean, it has no use, but placeholders. Gains. So I got absolute shit from this one step medium close throw from Dagnots. Rip. There we go, 64 Slayer. I also didn't get it on bid, but I also got um, 80 hit points. So yeah. The riskiest Barrows trip ever. I tried to do two in one trip with no prayer and like 10 food starting out. Let's see if I can do it. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, there it is. Fuck. I have no teleports either. All right, let's see what we get. Come on, I gotta get something good. Come on. Marital gains. And 49 farming. One more level till we can boost for hard Mortania achievement diaries. And 52 herb lore. Haunted mind complete, boys. Salve amulet E, here I come. So, I just finished Haunted Mine, and we're gonna go enchant these, because we got an Aberrant Spectres task of 171 Aberrant Spectres, so... I mean, it was worth it to do Haunted Mines, we needed that eventually anyways. Um, so yeah, we're gonna buy a Slayer Ring, I mean, we could buy the ability to make the Slayer Rings, but... Um, I'm saving up for a Slayer Helm, but I need the Slayer Ring, because I need to... Well, I don't need it, but it's easier to get there, so... That Slayer Ring. And. Teleport. Tarn Slayer. Let's do it! Four Spectre. Whoop. I had a lot of people saying um, it was better to just buy the ring. It teleported me right here, and you didn't have to go through the maze. And I've heard the maze takes a little bit, so it was worth it to get the ring, I think, honestly. 5k Slayer XP. Wow. There we go. Salve Amulet. Got a clue from Aberrant Skeptors, but Rune Warhammer, so we're gonna drop it. Just got another clue scroll at Aberrant Skeptors. Um, the reason I don't use prayer here is because uh, the trip's really short, because my inventory usually fills up with herbs pretty quick. I collect all the Marantols and shit, so um, so I can use them for prayer. But, uh, but yeah, you only need salmon, your inventory fills up pretty quickly. You don't really need prey, I don't flick or anything, so it's pretty quick. Alright, about to open this casket from Aberrant Skeptors. Let's see what we get. Hopefully it's a third age amulet. And a rune full home. Nice law runes. 85 stir! And there's 53 herb lore. Hell yeah. <clears throat> so I just got back from a trip from Green Dragons because I am 2k prayer XP off of 70 prayer. So I had to kill 11 dragons to get the D-bones for the prayer. And I got a clue, so let's go do it. But not without getting 70 prayer first, and boom, there it is. 70 fucking prayer. And then, and now. So I just got 71 attack while streaming. There it is. So two days ago I started streaming. Um, I was doing Dagonoth Rex. I uh, did about 9 hours of Dagonoth Rex. Went 56 kills dry, and then I got a Warrior Ring. As you can see, got a warrior rank on kill 57, I believe. Uh, the reason I don't have any live footage is because none of my Twitch broadcast archive. For some reason, I thought I had it enabled, but I guess I didn't. So I don't have any live reactions. But if you were at the stream, it was pretty crazy when I got the warrior ring. Um, my friend Iron Kylar, he actually called the warrior ring. And then um, he said, next ring, you're going to get a berserk ring. Now, I didn't believe him obviously, uh, but as you can see, I did get the Berserk Ring on kill 90, um, and I ended at about 101 kills, but uh, but yeah, I got the Warrior Ring and the Berserk Ring now, so that's pretty crazy. I wish I could show you guys live footage, but like I said, it didn't archive, so it's like, it's frustrating, but it's what it is. In addition to that, I'm just buying some Cosmics right now, uh, do Air Orbs, and boom, 80 Fletching. Nice round stat. Now make magic short bows, and at 85 we can make long bows. Pretty legit. Um, I'm gonna be going for a fire cape uh, a little bit later, so yeah, stay tuned.
Also, for those of you wondering, I'm not done with uh, Dagonoff Rex. I'm gonna keep going back there uh, whenever I have the Blood Rings to do it. And I'm gonna try and go for that Dragon Axe, and maybe get some placeholders for the rings. So, look forward to that. Hey guys, before I cut ahead to the Fire Cape attempt clip, I would just like to let you guys know that it was done while live streaming, and my power went out three times because of the storm during the Cape. But I still managed to get to Jad, and uh, so I'm gonna show you guys that Jad fight. Hope you guys enjoy. There's nothing more that we can do here We've got what we need and we don't need the help But that was Jack. Oh fuck, okay. Just, just saw that spawn. Alright, fuck! <laughs> I'm freaking out! <laughs> Holy shit, alright, alright, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, on. alright. Alright, fuck. Breathe in. Let's do it. Haven't done this ever on 07 yet. Everyone's here to see me fail. In before Jagex. I'm trying to read the chat in between fucking hits. I oh, would have fucked up, dude. I already know it. Something new, a better place or something new to do. We're setting sail for some 18 HP. Barn Jesus, please let me hit in before I run out of prey pots. We did it, boys! <laughs> there it is, boys. First attempt. You did what, mate? What? 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 All right, hold on. There it is. Holy shit, there it is. <laughs> there it fucking is, boys. <laughs> there it fucking is. Hold on, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. There it fucking is, man. There it fucking is. There it fucking is, man. Hold on. Holds up, baby lion. Ha ba ba ha ba. Are you kidding? I'm 96 combat for the person who was asking. Webcam. 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 Alright, so we're about to finish this hard clue we got from Bloodvelds. Let's see what we get. And we get Third Age Amulet. So, still collecting Cosmics, a lot of people they don't understand that there's only 20 Cosmics maximum in stock per world. Uh, so you have to keep hopping around, and it's 3 Cosmics per air orb that you charge. 
I need 15k air orbs charged. That's 45k cosmics. That is a lot of hops, 20 per world. A lot of fucking hops. Alright, so we just got 4k cosmics. Let's bank them and go run some air orbs. So I'm here pickpocketing the master farmer for um, a mushroom spore for Mortania Hard Diaries. And second pickpocket, I get a Rainer Seed. Lol. So I'm here about to finish the second clue scroll for my Blood Belt Pass. Let's see what we got. <sighs> 72 attack, 97 combat. Just completed our 40th pass, and... There we go. We got Slayer Helm. And... There it is. The Slayer Helm has been achieved. Now let's see what we get for a task. 82 elves. Wow. 66 Slayer. Alright. So we're doing some Slayer here. We just got 74 attack and 98 combat. So we're doing some Slayer at Dagonauts. And we just got 67 Slayer and 1500 total level. Very juicy looking. Just finished a clue I got from Hellhounds. And we got some good Alchemals, but nothing really that good. So I just got 75 attack. Hell yeah. Shit loot. Fuck. So here we are about to complete a hard clue that we got from Greater Demons. Let's see what we get. And another clue. And the loot is another clue. This should be the loot finally and not bad. We're in full hum G. And there we go, 50 farming. Now we can boost up to 53 using a garden pie, which requires 35 cooking. Um, and we can get that 53 farming boost for Mortania Hard Diaries, so, yeah. Well, we finished the clue, and we got Ancient Page 2, but I'm almost 100% sure we have that one, so. Alright, so we just finished our 38th hard clue scroll, and we got probably the worst loot I've ever gotten. Not even an alcohol. Just got 72 death and 99 combat. <clears throat> so we're here about to finish a hard clue scroll, so we get um nothing. Boom, 68 slayer. So we just finished our first clue from our Hellhound task, and it scared the shit out of me because I thought I got third age, but it's just banded with behind. Damn dude. I almost freaked out. 74 defense. Alright. Last Hellhound before I had to bank and I got a clue scroll. Let it be known, this is the first time in my account's history that I've ever gotten this clue scroll. And let's see what we get. And another. We're getting a lot of clues we've never got before. It's pretty crazy. And another one. This is a seventh stepper. And let's see what we get. Third age van braces. Here we go. And. Damn. 69 Slayers. We missed the loot pit because we ran out of prey, but we got rune legs, rune plate, and 11 purple sweets. Not the best loot, but we got some alcohol, so not bad. And there we go, 75 defense. Now we're going to be on strength mode until we have a whip. So we're two steps into this clue and rune boots. Rest in peace. And there we go, 82 hit points and 100 combat. That looks so juicy. Hey guys, so as you can see, my stats from before the video are in the top left hand corner, and my current stats are obviously right here. Um, I'm going to skip right to the bank, but I'd just like to say thank you all for the massive amount of support, and uh, I hope you enjoy the vids, and uh, like I said, every Friday, I'm going to be releasing a new vid. Super